Moses. My name is Patricia Gale and we were from East Brunswick, New Jersey and we just recently moved back to London, Ohio. Uh, I was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer in 2021 of January and I had a metastasis that had gone into my spine. So it left me paralyzed. I was very active before all of this happened in last December. I was a manager at Panera. I was taking Haley back and forth into Brooklyn for her ballroom dance coaching and everything stopped. I started uh, dragging my left foot in January and day by day it got progressively worse. You know, um, when I decided to go to ITC, I had looked at one other hospital first that was also highly, as highly rated as ITC. But, you know, you have to go with your gut. And the thing that really was a tiebreaker for me was the patient testimonials. Everybody loves this place. Everybody just raved about how friendly the place is and how they treat you like family. And it's like, that's where I want to be. I want to be where I'm comfortable, where I feel safe, where people look at my best interest instead of the, you know, their bottom line. You know, I was nervous because uh, you know you have your blood work done and and the hospital was spotless and everybody was very friendly but you know he's the big guy right so I'm a little nervous about that I walked in and, and he always says the same thing to me I say hi Dr. Batista how are you and he said more importantly Patricia how are you you know so uh, just uh, warm uh, very caring and but most of all I always felt that Dr. Batista is a pioneer in his field and I know that it could not have been easy for him to go against mainstream medicine and come down here and actually go against, you know, the teachings of the United States and, you know, let's give 100% chemotherapy and let's knock it out. Um, I feel like here you come down and they hit it with everything they've got from nutrition to uh, heat treatments to um, uh, nutrition uh, as far as uh, you've got a nutritionist that tells you what to eat and, and a cafeteria that actually feeds you those foods. Uh, and then you've got the staff that's very loving and kind, which is another layer of healing for me, feeling safe and feeling uh, respected and cared for. Um, the therapies have been very gentle for me. I always tease Dr. Alvarez and I said, you always have a way of getting me to do things. You always tell me, I think it's going to be a game changer, Patricia, for your cancer, and it's going to be very gentle. And I'm like, well, what dummy wouldn't do that, right? <laughs> like, okay, Dr. Alvarez, <laughs> you know, whatever you want me to do, because he knows me, you know, he knows that the quality of my life is just as important as the quantity of my life. Well, the first time I came in, uh, by the time I'd gotten here, I was totally paralyzed from the waist down. And within the first treatment, I started wiggling my toes. And I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk out of here. And I did. Mike has been, uh, I call him my guardian angel. <laughs> I mean, for somebody to stay around, to tell you how pitiful I was, I had lost like all the muscle, like probably above my waist. And he, waist. and he calls me a rag doll because I had to literally sit in something with arms on it, otherwise I would kind of fall over. But this man took me to the bathroom in the middle of the night, two or three times in the middle of the night, uh, got me whatever I needed, had the patience of a saint. I don't. I don't even know how to, to how do you begin to thank somebody for saving your life, really, and taking time off work, quitting his job so he could he could stand by me. We love it here. 
it's been great. The, the people are so friendly. It's a great experience. And Mike, it's safe. Yeah. And that's not what Mike thought when he first came here. He's like, I heard the, the sailors come here and all they do is party and the drunken all of this. sailors on shore leave. <laughs> that's what he, and whatever. And so when we first got here, he's like, what have you gotten us into? That's what he said. And the next day he's like, if anything happens to me, I want to come here. Absolutely. And I'm like, what? Now right? it's time to move here. Yeah, and now he wants to move here. This is the most important decision of your life because it's all about saving your life. So get as much information as you can. Don't take my word for it. Read the testimonials. Um, what I can tell you is you won't be sorry. I mean, get it. Just call. 15 minutes after I called this place, Dr. Alvarez was on the phone listening to, not, not telling me you need to be here, listening to me uh, with my symptoms and telling me what they could do and calming my fears. Just call, make that phone call. It'll be the most important phone call of your life. It was the most important phone call of mine.